what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 218. That is right. We are well on our way to get into like another one-fifth of another century, just in two days time. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy today's episode, you'll have to do me a little favour on this Thursday and hit me with a thumbs up. Can we get a Thursday thumbs up? That'd be great. Let's aim for 3,000 likes. If you can make that happen, you will make my day. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click the notification bell. Leave me a comment down below. All of that good stuff. Um, just to, I don't know, maybe leave a nice comment to make somebody's day. That's what the, the theme has been lately, hasn't it? So, um, we can start today's episode out by actually selling... The second Douglas Costa that we've got in our club. Because if you didn't see it yesterday, we were very, very fortunate to uh, to pack ourselves an untradeable Douglas Costa from our third and final foot birthday party bag, SBC. That was a bit of a mouthful. Um, but yeah, like it was... It was written in the stars. It's the player that we've been using for the last few days, or in the last weekend league, obviously... Very, very good player. We ended up getting 444,000 coins for him. Um, maybe I sold him a little prematurely. I don't know. Maybe I could have waited a little bit longer, you know. Uh, however, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's all straight up profit at the end of the day. Uh, so, uh, we're, we're now rocking with 427,000 coins after tax. Knowing that in tomorrow's episode, we'll also have rewards as well. Um... So we should, well, we'll have a guaranteed extra 30,000 coins from getting gold three. Uh, and then whatever we can make in packs. Uh, because I don't know, like, I've been thinking, I imagine Tots is soon. But, like, I don't know how soon. And I don't want to start saving packs if Tots is, like, three weeks away. And I've got to save all of those packs for that amount of time. But maybe, like, the week before, we could start thinking about maybe saving um, saving our packs so that when the first set of Tots comes out, we've got a few extra packs to open up. Uh, if that is the case, then I'll just have to know about it beforehand. Hopefully, there'll be a splash screen or some sort of announcement uh, in the coming weeks, I guess. It's got to be soon, right? You're like I know that the... The season hasn't finished, and and all the craziness that and stuff is going on. But like you would, you would expect there probably to be a tot just based on the eighty percent of the season that's already happened. So um, hopefully that's soon. You guys might know more about it by the time you're watching this. Who knows? I doubt it though. I can't imagine they'll have announced anything from the time that I've commentated this video at nine p.m. last night to uh, to when you're watching it now. Um, because let's face it, we've I mean like the servers. Servers have been down, like, a lot. That's kind of mad, isn't it? Like, how... Like, gen genuinely, or generally, we have server issues at the start of a promo. On, like, a Friday night and a Saturday, like, heavy times. Um, now, I know that we're in unprecedented times, so... Peak times on FIFA 20 could be completely different to... When a peak time was before all of the virus rubbish happened, so... Um, it could just be a case there's loads of people trying to get on the servers all the time because everyone's home doing nothing. Uh, or, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just don't really know. But we're not in a promo anymore because foot birthday's gone. And it was like the whole of a Tuesday the servers were down. It's just like so random, isn't it? it com compared to what we normally experience for server outages. So, uh, I guess maybe there was something more to it. Um, but it was... it was I was very lucky because I'd... Apparently, I woke up on the Tuesday morning, right, and the and the servers were down, and then so I, I you know, I got up, I got ready, uh, and I knew that I had to fill my party bag for yesterday's episode. Uh, so I got on, and I, I never thought anything else of it because I just got on fine, absolutely, you know, no problems. There was things on the market that I could buy. I went and did my party bag, um, and then I edited that video, and then resurfaced again because you kind of just go under when you're going editing, um, and then I resurfaced, went on Twitter, and. Saw that the servers were down again, and they, and they just stayed down all day and all night. It was mental. So uh, I got very lucky that we got a video out yesterday, and lucky enough that the servers are up again um, today for me, so that I could at least go into some rivals, go into some gameplay, uh, and achieve. Make sure I get rank three. Uh, so you are seeing just some some rivals games in the background. I tweeted last night. I got a little bit stressed. Like you'll you'll see like. I'm getting stressed throughout these games just from some of the results and the way that the games are going and stuff. But um, I just had a really bad experience. Like, it happens sometimes, more often than not, when you're on Rivals. Because Rivals is just a horrible game mode, really. I really don't like it. If I can stay out of Rivals, like, I, I will. <laughs> I just I just don't enjoy it. Um, 
And whether or not that is because of the way it is this this year where people are relegated themselves everywhere, I, I don't know. But, like, I just had a bad time. Um, I was... Uh, I don't think I was necessarily playing against people that were drop back one depth. I just really did match up against people that felt better than me. And I just, I feel like maybe they were people that were down from Division 1 at one point or something because I really struggled. Now the first game of this episode, I've ended up quitting at 2-0 down because he had an absolute super team. Um, and I really needed to get some rivals points. So losing... Losing a game and not scoring any goals is of absolutely no use to me. I need these games where at least it's going to be high scoring or something. So um, I wasn't going to quit this one because we'd actually scored a goal. So no matter what, we're going to get some form of rivals points at the end of this one. I don't actually know. Do you get any rivals points at all if you lose and don't score? I assume you get like a 150 or 100 points or something. But um, I can't say I've ever really noticed or looked about it but I was I was teetering on the edge of, of dropping into rank four I think I probably would have just about been safe because um, in div three rank three I think that the majority of that six thousand po uh, points that it is is just from people playing the weekend league exactly what I do it the gold three merchants they get up there they've they've got about six thousand points and then they don't play again and that is like an ideal situation for me um, would be to not have to play rivals in the week and just play up to, to 14 wins on on the weekend um, but it's it's not quite working out that way this year sometimes you could do it last year this year however it seems to be that you either got to go further in the weekend league or you got to take a little bit more uh, time during the week to play a couple of extra rivals games because that's what's going to bring you over in terms of rivals rank points so um, yeah maybe maybe people are just a little bit more hooked or at the moment maybe people have, have just got a little bit more time on their hands obviously with with things going on so we are still at about 1500 skill rating we are still in division three um and i reckon even getting those points right there were probably enough to just tide me over considering it was like i don't know 14 hours until they were going to update or something um but every single team i'm coming up against has got just some absolutely astonishingly good players um however i imagine that's how my opponents feel when they look at my squad we've got a really good squad for especially for not spending a single penny on the game um and someone said to me the other day or was it a comment or a tweet i can't remember what it was but it's like imagine how bad last his team would be if he didn't pack that messy and i was like I actually don't think it would be that different. I might have had to have been a little bit more conservative with wasting my coins on doing certain SBCs. However, like if I didn't if I didn't have the cup like 1.7 mil or whatever I sold Messi for, I just wouldn't have done the player of the month Neymar. Like I put 1.6 million coins liquid into player of the month Neymar. Um, I probably would just have a regular Neymar still in my club and the rest of the team would be pretty much exactly the same I would imagine anyway you never know like um, what is it I can't remember what it is it's like what happens if a tree falls down in the woods and nobody hears it or a, like the, the is it the butterfly effect like if something happens it could have been very different. Like, I'm waffling. I'm waffling. But um, yeah, it could have been very different if we didn't pack Messi, I'm sure. But I would imagine we'd still have a pretty pretty good team. Because uh, even if you look at last year's Road to Glory, if you just grind this game a little bit, then you genuinely have like limitless amounts of coins to, to get players. Or if you do just play the SBC game uh, and go for a first owner squad, you'll pretty much have a, a beastly squad if you just put time into this game. So... Uh, Anyway, I was 2-1 down in this game after I did a classic lasty offside trap. I've not done one of them for a little while. Only uh, loyal viewers of the series will remember when like, we had about a 20-episode spree where nearly every single episode I did a, a, a badly timed offside trap and it led to my opponent scoring. And uh, that's exactly what happened in... <laughs> in this game right here but we did get a goal back with Neymar he pushes through with Messi scores the goal with Aguero but he was offside he tried to sweat it um hey it was the smart thing to do but we hit the uh we hit the run perfectly there with Ryan Kent uh, and just ball roll it knock it across why Neymar doesn't tap that into the back of the net I will never know I guess I passed it too hard but he literally opens his legs and let that ball go through just tap it in mate but it ends up going back to Lozano uh, and he slaps it into the back of the net and we can get a uh Get this, guys. We get a victory in rivals. Crazy. Um, yeah, that really doesn't happen that often. But um, I'm happy that it did, you know. Buzzing. 
really happy. Uh, at least we're solidified in Div 3. And, you know, should we play a little bit more in the weekend league this weekend or, or whatever, we should at least be getting the two rare gold packs and the two rare players packs. So it's going to be very, it's going to be a little bit different to, to rewards. I just bit my tongue. Ow. Um, it's going to be a little bit different to rewards of the previous weeks where we've had just an absolute load of mega packs. Um, we're actually going to get more 50k packs and other just rare packs in general. Um, so I get to level 29 in the season objectives. So we are just one level off now. And with over a week to go, I should easily be able to get the 8,000 or 9,000 XP that I need. Um, I saw some within week five gold that I'll probably be able to get. Uh, like we'll earn once we'll earn the, the rivals rank points when, when just when we play the weekend league in a couple days time. And also there was like a squad battles one, which I'm sure I could do pretty easily. And uh, yeah, so, so it's going to be no issue at all. And then you know that you get like a, quite a few thousand XP if you just do bronze and silver weekly objectives, uh, which will, of course we've got one more set off to come on Friday night. So uh, I should be all good. And I, at the moment, I'm thinking probably probably go down the line of, uh, of unlocking Fred from Man United. Um, for no particular reason apart from I think that he probably looks like the best, most usable card. Uh, <coughs> I don't, um, um, we do have David Luiz. Like, we, ha we have David Luiz, so there's a chance that he could even get a strong link to him and go into the squad somehow, knowing that we've got other Brazilians in Alexandro, Neymar, Douglas Costa now. We're getting quite a few Brazilians in the club. It just seems like probably the smartest choice, uh, out of the lot. And, like, Belotti... Can't say I'm that bothered. Uh, he would be fodder, if anything. But I feel like maybe we should be getting a, a usable player um, from from our for our efforts this season. Uh, and then the final one is is it Yannick uh, Carrasco? Yeah, it's Carrasco, isn't it? Now he looks like quite a good card, but I am so overwhelmed with left wingers now that we've got Neymar and Douglas Costa and prime icon moments over Mars, who doesn't even see the light of day in our squad anymore, really, does he? So uh, yeah, I can't imagine we're really going to need him. He's not going to be as good. Oh, we've we've literally got better, uh, haven't we? So this this final game here was the final straw for me playing rivals uh, on this evening because. I don't, uh, man, I just hated every minute of it. It really wasn't fun. Um, I was sly tackling all over. Uh, I let the rage get to me in this game. I really did. And my opponent went 4-1 up and then just hit me with the shushes. Oh, God, bad times, bad times, guys. But uh, it happens and you move on and it's all good. Uh, perhaps there were things I did in that game to antagonize my opponent. You never know. Uh, so uh, they, you know, we just move on. It doesn't look like we should have lost 4-1, but we just move on uh, and uh, forget that it ever happened. It's really bad in the moment, but then you just, just get past it. You wake up tomorrow. You can't even remember that you played FIFA the night before, right? Um, so seeing that, we're about a third of the way through rank three. We're probably solidified to get ourselves those 50k packs in the morning, uh, of which I will open for you and you'll see in tomorrow's episode. So I had this idea. I have two ideas for what we could do for the squad for this weekend league. Uh, and it's going to be up to you guys. I'll leave a little poll, a little vote in the top corner. So make sure you go and check that out and just click on a vote, whichever one you would prefer, to see what we could potentially do. Now, it might be out of my hands because I currently can't afford this first uh, first option, which would be to buy Danny Da Costa for birthday and for birthday Kai Havertz. King Kai. I'd love to try him out. Four-star skills and five-star weak foot. Um, and he would be playing on... Seven chemistry uh, in that in that spot right there. Neymar would also be on seven because that's where he is. Uh, and David Luiz would also be on eight. So Neymar and David Luiz are, are basically going to be on the exact same chem as they already are in our squad currently. And it would just be a case of instead of a seven chem t &E, we'd have a seven chem Havertz. Like, a, but a 10 chem Da Costa. So there's going to be no differences there in the overall chemistry of the squad. Um, but whether or not you guys would like to see me using King Kai, that, you know, and, and Danny Da Costa, I think both look like very, very good cards. I'd be interested as hell to use that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, or the other option is that in our icon spot where Zola is, we have got a plethora of lone icons that we've been given to us um, for various objectives over the last couple of months. I could quite easily stick those players in until they run out of contract. Uh, if it's Kaka, if it's Del Piero, if it's Raquel May, or if it's Nedved, we play them at Cam. Or if it's uh, Hugo Sanchez or Henri, 
we'll play them up top because they are more strikers, aren't they? So, um, and, we'd, and in that case, we'd just bring Douglas Costa back to Cam for, for the games that we'd be using the strikers. So I could quite easily do that as well because I think if we tally up all of the games that I've got on loan there, I've easily got enough to go for a weekend league. So uh, let me know what you think. Would you prefer me to try and get the money tomorrow with our rewards to maybe pick up Danny da Costa and Havertz? That's not an absolute certain because I just might not have the funds. The club's pretty bare bones apart from the 400 odd K that we've got right now and I think we need to make over a hundred thousand to make that happen which is possible it's totally possible um or would you like to see me using the various different icons either at cam or at striker that I have on loan it means that we would be using a loan in the weekend league don't know what you think about that I'm not a huge fan of it um, but I can certainly try it out if it if it makes you guys enjoy it a little bit more because we're trying out a few different players this weekend let me know what you would prefer me to do by voting in the top corner um and and yeah that's pretty much going to wrap things up for this episode guys uh if you would do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button i'd really appreciate it like i said we're shooting for 3,000 likes um why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new i thank you for doing that and of course come follow me on twitter instagram the links are down below everyone have a fantastic day Stay safe, stay healthy, stay and play, stay at home, play games, all of that good stuff. I will catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace. <laughs>